So today I'm here to talk to you about how to do and leverage the Azure uh, Cloud to be able to perform scalable and secure genomics analysis. Uh, there it goes. So on the Microsoft Genomics team, which is part of Microsoft's Health Next organization, um, the key driver in everything that we're doing in is fundamentally the belief that genomics is at the key and at the heart of precision medicine. The ability to harness and to manipulate effectively the vast amounts of genomic and genetic data that's being genetic uh, that's being generated in the world and is anticipated to be generated um, in the very near future, driven by the rapidly dropping costs of sequencing uh, and coupled with the increased capabilities of the cloud makes for a truly exciting time and a work on the precipice of a true revolution in personalized medicine. Being able to leverage genomic information to aid in early detection of diseases, predict how disease may progress, to be able to tailor treatment based on a person's individual genome, target drugs, as well as um, potentially identify uh, genes that might need uh, potential therapy. And fundamentally, this work is being done at a number of different places, whether you're uh, interest, uh, working at a research institution and genomics is at the core of your fundamental research and trying to truly identify the molecular mechanisms that drive uh, physiology and the clinical presentation of diseases uh, observed in the clinic. Um, academic medical research, uh, research centers that focus uh, more and uh, less on basic science, more on uh, direct clinical application of genetics, um, of genetics research, uh, pharma and biotech that can leverage the power of the genome to perform drug development, and lastly, provider systems that can utilize genomic information to uh, inform clinical decision making. So at Microsoft, we, will be, uh, we fundamentally try to drive genomics work at all levels. And we see three main steps along the journey that any organization, regardless of whether you're at a AMC or you're at a, as a, in a pharma or biotech, may be progressing through. Um, just these three main stages include uh, research and discovery, automation and scale, and clinical genomics. So what do we consider and what are our goals for research and discovery? We look to build a collaborative platform that enables easy access to both open source and community developed informatics pipelines. And the reason for that is that this is a field that is rapidly progressing. And so we want to facilitate users being able to quickly adopt and utilize the latest and greatest of the scientific world as it's as soon as it's available and be able to um, leverage those tools on Azure without having to worry about the environment that they're working in, the compute resources that they have, or the storage mechanisms uh, to be able to harness and leverage that data. Once you've identified your key discovery, you then have to look to how to test that theory um, first and foremost, comparing against open data sets. And we'll talk about some of our initiatives in that regard in a moment, as well as automate and scale that workflow to then be able to look at uh, thousands of patients, tens of thousands of patients, and see if the clinical phenomenon that is um, the genomic phenomenon is truly uh, cor correlated with the uh, clinical phenomenon being observed. And so we've been working to build out a workflow management platform uh, to enable rapid prototyping, uh, scaling, and automation. And I'll be demonstrating what that looks like uh, momentarily. And then last but not least, there are um, situations where you might need a uh, lockdown, um, a set of lockdown secure service that is already ISO certified and HIPAA compliant for clinical genetic testing. Um, and so we have you covered on um, all three phases of this journey. So 
these are some of the resources and toolings that we've been able to build out to enable customers to piece together their genomics workspace. I'll be um, briefly going through and demonstrating what the genomics notebooks on Azure look like and how these tools allow for the interoperability and sharing read necessary at the research level. Um, then be um, uh, uh, showing you a little bit of Pommel on Azure and how that works and how that can then be leveraged to process your uh, informatics workflows at scale using the power of uh, the Azure cloud. And last but not least, I'll be touching a bit on our genomic service. So the first step in your journey is in research and discovery. And so our focus here was to really provide a best standards open source platform that is already highly regarded by the community and bring in the best and most powerful tools um, uh, to be able to create an environment that facilitates um, this uh, analysis and R&D as quickly as possible. So we worked together with Bioconductor uh, to build and implement um, a, the ability to run Bioconductor, have a Bioconductor uh, container readily available on Azure. And those of you, I'm sure, familiar, Bioconductor is an open source development project that contains over 1,900 bioinformatics packages and growing, and is uh, curated by the fabulous uh, individuals over at that organization. We've made a Bioconductor image for Azure now available, and it's already pre-configured with 30 of the most useful bioinformatics uh, packages. On the data science front, because fundamentally we're not just looking to process this genomic data, but truly harness it and integrate it with other data types that you may cont um, contain, some of which were covered earlier in today's talks. Um, we have built out what we call our data science virtual machines for genomics. These are customized Azure virtual machine images and that are pre-configured with popular tools, um, uh, the development kits and libraries that are necessary for genomics analysis and manipulation of data on, um, um, once you've generated your variant calls and looking to interpret. You have the ability to then leverage pre-configured um, models of pre-configured machine learning models using the Azure, um, Azure Machine Learning or Microsoft R Studio, as well as harness both uh, Windows or Linux um, as environments and as well as GPU workloads. So you no longer have to be concerned as to whether I you necessarily have the right hardware to build and run your uh, build and run your machine learning model. And fundamentally, you can work with all of this in the uh, in, uh, within our genomics notebooks. And so these are a collection of uh, open uh, a collection of notebooks that we've built uh, uh, that implement best practice workflows for manipulating uh, manipulating data as well as processing and building out machine learning models uh, to be able to process that data. The wonderful thing about working in uh, Jupyter is that you have uh, a, um, easy interoperability and shareability. You can simply share your notebooks with notes um, and uh, move from one environment to the next seamlessly without having to worry about uh, rebuilding or re-executing anyone's code. Um, you just simply execute their code. And so our notebooks are already pre-configured and conclude a number of different uh, sample notebooks that have uh, a GATK, Picard, uh, as well as um, the aforementioned Bioconductor and some Python libraries as well. Now, once you've built your genomics notebook, how do you test that data? Well, uh, increasingly, um, there is the utilization of various um, um, publicly available open data sets, as well as uh, curating your hypotheses against uh, publicly available databases. And so we're pleased to announce at Microsoft that uh, the creation of the genomics data lake on the Azure open data set platform. We've brought in over a petabyte's worth of genomic data, ranging from the human uh, number of human reference genomes, uh, the as well as a number of data, annotation databases such as ClinVar and the as it's SNPF uh, variant annotation prediction database. 
These can all, these all prevent, um, means that you no longer have to worry about migrating and hosting all of this data directly within your own subscription. You can simply uh, reference these data and incorporate them readily into your genomics workflows. And we have information on our sites on exactly how to do that. Now that we've built and uh, gone through the research and development process, we have a hypothesis that we've tested and um, curated against publicly available databases. How do we then turn that to run at scale? Well, Microsoft, uh, we have uh, embraced the standards uh, set forth by the Global Alliance for Global Health or GA for GH uh, Alliance and are implemented a workflow execution management uh, system uh, that supports these standards. Um, Cromwell is originally developed by the Broad Institute and we, uh, as an open source workflow management system to support these standards, we have gone and implemented a specific version of Cromwell that leverages Azure Batch for low cost uh, uh, processing of and, and enables uh, automation and scale for process uh, for workflows. You can uh, easily build custom pipelines uh, using containers that you may already have, or build containers uh, with Docker, and run those containers using either Whittle or CWL scripting. Of course, if you just want to get started and do some initial cursory work, we are also curating a growing list of pre-built best practice pipelines of germline variant calling, somatic variant calling, a number of pipelines for data pre-processing, as well as variant filtration as well. Of course, not everyone necessarily wants to be able to wants to build and re-implement their own pipeline. Uh, sometimes a uh, off-the-shelf uh, solution is just what needs uh, just what's needed to get the job done. And so, at Microsoft, we have um, uh, built and implemented a optimized version of BWA GATK. Um, that is ISO certified and covered under Microsoft's uh, um, BAA. Uh, so you have the security and scalability um, while also being able to turn this around in a, a very a, a significantly faster than a standard GATK implementation. You can all over integrate these um, this pipeline directly into your limb system so you can automate the processing and handling and generating of these VCF files and then migrate into other tools and such downstream uh, to be able to leverage those varying calls readily uh, within your broader uh, genomics workspace and ecosystem. And so on Azure, you have the power and flexibility to easily create your own genomics workspace. Um, whether that be a research and development side, you're leveraging notebooks to run pipelines and utilize bioinformatics tools and data science tools to investigate your data, or to implement a workflow manager uh, using our Cromwell, uh, our Cromwell and Azure uh, development, and be able to process data readily through the uh, process data readily and at scale. You can all of these leverage. Uh, the vast amounts of compute and storage resources available on the Azure cloud, so you no longer have to worry about the having the necessary uh, the compute or storage resources um, required to handle these vast amounts of data, and you can incorporate and regulate the access uh, to your data through biometric data repositories, as well as incorporate into your analyses when necessary um, our genomics data lake. Um, into your workflow, so you have readily, readily available access to those. So, building out your genomics uh, workspace would look something like this. Uh, you can take your sample, um, you generate your raw data, leveraging either uh, so the Cromwell and Azure with a um, uh, so the custom or pre-configured workflow, or the Microsoft Genomic Service to generate your variant calls. You then have the ability 
to um, perform tertiary analysis and do uh, develop and manipulate a data frame that incorporates clinical variables um, in addition to uh, variants of interest and then be able to visualize those and deliver that back to data uh, through Power BI. All of this on an environment that contains everything that you need uh, from processing and computing power all the way through to uh, storage containers uh, and your uh, containers for processing uh, so your data, um, data warehouses, data science tools, as well as visualization and uh, uh, visualization and collaboration tools downstream. So let's talk about a couple of examples where users have been able to build out their genomics, uh, their genomics environment. Um, we're proud to uh, announce and are as a as success of one of our as a, the early adopting customers of uh, Biosha. And so Biosha has been able to leverage Cromwell and Azure to rapidly deploy a novel uh, COVID-19 genomics workflow. And so, um, this uh, uh, in a very short order, uh, Biosha has been able to um, implement a, a, a proprietary uh, a pipeline for doing um, uh, for doing COVID nineteen uh, detection and characterization, and um, been able to leverage Cromwell and Azure to meet the uh, substantial uh, and ever increasing um, the, the processing needs for their workflows. Moreover, we've also continued our collaboration with uh, St. Jude's and DNA Nexus. And so now we've uh, the, uh, ultimately supported the creation of a, as a pediatric um, cancer genomic uh, a database um, developed by the scientists directly at St. Jude's and have now progressed to actually implementing and running the genomic service um, as part of their overall clinical workflows. We also uh, continue to and are excited to partner um, uh, and collaborate to build out the infrastructure for um, processing genomics with um, various partners in the uh, genomics and healthcare space. So fundamentally, uh, so our so goal uh, within the Microsoft Genomics is to allow people to really get the most of their data through open integration and of across the entire Azure platform. Um, so our, we look to and strive to build tools that enable gen genomics analysis and data science. We then also then build pl platforms for collaboration and automation of that analysis at scale. And finally, we work with partners to enable solutions to extend um, their specific and specialized services and products uh, within Azure. So if you'd like to learn more, you've included as part of the so PowerPoint, a few hyperlinks to learn about our various genomics uh, services. Um, also, please feel free to, as I said, reach out to me. As I said, uh, my email is at the bottom of the slide. And with that, uh, I will hand it back over to Ron. Thank you very much.